Hey guys! Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. Today's video is going to be an unboxing of my Play by Sephora box plus a boxy charm. <laughs> this is for July 2017. Um, I resubscribed to Boxy Charm for the first time in probably three years because I saw spoilers of this box thanks to my subscription addiction, which is pretty much my way of life. I love my subscription addiction. I use their swap forum pretty much daily and uh, sometimes their spoilers really get me. So I'm going to show you my Play by Sephora box first just because and then we'll go into the boxy charm. So this is the card this month, Beauty Staycation. If you shop in store and use this card you get 50 extra Beauty Insider points and they just have a big fold out thing so a little sneak peek of what I got and it's just really cute. They've got all these like tips and tricks and all sorts of stuff on this card and then the bag of this month is kind of thin feeling but it's really cute it makes me think of like a picnic table um, or picnic blanket and it says glamp out and it's just really cute and let's just get on into it if you didn't know play by Sephora is ten dollars plus sales tax each month and you get five deluxe samples plus a bonus perfume sample so pretty good deal I think. So here's the perfume that I got this month. This is the Clean Reserve Suede Oud, I guess is how you say it. And it says that it's a woody musk, which doesn't seem very summery, but I will give it a try. I don't really like too much musky woody kind of stuff, but I feel like this would be better as a candle. I guess I'll see how it wears on the skin because once it mixes with like your body's chemistry it can change and develop differently on different people so I will try it out but first thoughts it smells like a candle that I would burn in the fall time. Um, let's see here I'm just gonna grab in the bag and pull something out. Honestly. The next thing I have here is from Caudalie. It's the Vine Active Glow Activating Anti-Wrinkle Serum. Ooh, that sounds really good. It just says apply morning and evening to face, neck, and decollete before your cream. And this is a really nice size. It's 10 milliliters or a third of an ounce, which is really generous. I know how expensive Caudalie products can be, so I'm sure this is a very high value, and I'm excited to try it out. The next thing I'm pulling out here is from Fresh. It is their rose face mask infused with real rose petals to hydrate and tone. I have used, I think, three of these minis before. So it's not like my ride or die kind of face mask, but it's just like a gel mask. You apply, you let it sit and soak in, and then you just wash it off. It's not my favorite, but I would use it. I might end up swapping it. I'm not too sure, but... It's a nice thing to try out if you haven't before. It's a really generous size. It's half an ounce, so you can get multiple masks out of it. The next thing I'm pulling out here looks gigantic. <laughs> um, this is from Bobbi Brown, and it's her eye-opening mascara in black. This is a big size. This is 0.17 ounces or 5 milliliters. I'm not ready for a mascara yet, so I'm not going to pull this out um, or open it because I don't want it to dry out before I get to it, but um, that's a really generous mascara size uh, to try out considering like you get those little ones that are like 0 0.05 ounces. Like I'll get three applications and then that's it. So that's a really generous size. Let's see here. The next thing I'm going to pull out here is from Briogeo, and I've used this before. This is the Rosarco Milk Reparative Leave-In Conditioning Spray. And this is... And this is three quarters of an ounce, which is fairly decent. I feel like they've sent out larger samples of this product before, so I'm not sure why they're skimping on us now. But it smells really good, and I've used it before, and I know that I enjoy it, so I'm happy to have more of this in my collection. Okay, and the last product that I'm pulling out from Play by Sephora is a little guy from Tarte. And how cute is this packaging? It's like marbled blue plastic, and I have no idea what this is. It says set sail. I'm pretty sure it's one of their Rainforest of the Sea products, 
So this is a lipstick in the shade Set Sail. It looks like a deeper nude color and I'm really excited for that. I don't really reach for like regular lipsticks anymore. I'm pretty much strictly onto liquid lipsticks because they last throughout the workday, but this is a really pretty color and I'm excited for it. It's a really cute packaging too. I think that's how they get you. But um, that was everything for Play by Sephora. I will have the total value tallied on the screen here. Um, again, only $10 plus sales tax per month. And yeah, I'm really happy with the products that I got and I'm happy to try everything out. So now on to BoxyCharm. I got suckered in because of spoilers. I need to like unsubscribe from everything so that I'm not tempted anymore, but BoxyCharm is $21 a month. They send out like five or six products. It's typically full size items. Um, sometimes they're like deluxe travel sizes. I've gotten like um, purse spray perfumes because obviously they're not going to send out a full size like $100 perfume, but I've gotten like really nice size perfumes from them before. I've gotten full size palettes before. But it's been a long time since I've had BoxyCharm. Since before my since before my channel, I think, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I'm not exactly sure when I stopped, but it was just due to financial reasons. And I don't really have any justification as to why I have it now, but I just really wanted this box. And there is a spoiler for next month's box and I feel like I want to stay on. I kind of want to wait and see what other spoilers there are and if there's other good ones I might stay for August. Let me know your thoughts but yeah let's just get into it. They send everything um, in a box like this and here's the card it says cutie pie and you can enter to win a boxy charm box and then on the back of the card there's uh, information about everything that comes in the box as well as values for everything and there's some information about the products themselves which is really really helpful I super appreciate that and here is just a quick little sneak peek of everything that is in this box and let's jump on in okay so the thing that suckered me in the most has got to be this guy. This is a little mini palette from Blink. It's a collaboration with BoxyCharm called the Electric Eyes Palette. And there are five eyeshadows in here. They claim to be jewel toned. The names are very not English. Um, I feel like I should know how to say these things, but yeah. I'm really excited for this. I've seen swatches. Everybody has gone crazy over this palette. It's beautiful. I'm going to hold it upside down so I don't blind you, but these are the shadows here. There are five shadows. They claim that this is a $45 value, which is kind of bananas to me, but the shadows feel so soft. Um, I'm really happy that mine arrived intact because some of them came shattered, but here are finger swatches and I'm just gonna swipe them oh my god it's even better in person oh my goodness there's a little bit of like kick up but look at that that's one swipe I did not like like press my finger really hard on my skin or anything it was just uh, it went on so buttery and smooth these are beautiful beautiful colors um, I'm just really impressed with the quality of these. I love the assortment of shades. You've got like a light champagne to a bronze to like a rose gold, like a garnet color, and then like a deeper, like tanny kind of brown. And it's just absolutely gorgeous. These are full size eyeshadows. They are, uh, it's a total weight of 11 grams of product in here. So just absolutely beautiful. I'm really impressed with that. The next thing that suckered me in is a full-size Bare Minerals product. And I haven't tried too much from Bare Minerals. I do have their um, Complexion Rescue that I'm waiting to use um, that I got recently. And I'm just, I'm just very interested in Bare Minerals. But um, this is their Invisible Light Translucent Powder Duo. Again, this is full-size. Um, this is... A $32 value and I just I love this um, 
the fact that boxycharm is sending out name brand stuff because sometimes you'll get these unknown brands that claim to have these high values and you're like but where's the demand there's nobody buying this at that full price however you know blink is well known bare minerals is definitely well known and very well established and to be sending out full size like $32 products from a company that's you know very mainstream for $21 a month that's amazing so it does come with a little cover and you've got the matte side and then the glow side I'm not ready to swatch this yet so I do apologize I feel like these are sort of like the hourglass um, texture they don't they don't really swatch as well as they look on the skin so I've heard so I don't think swatches are going to do this any justice, but I'm so excited to have this in my collection. The next thing that came in this box is intriguing to me because I do like setting sprays. This is from a brand called Project Beauty, which I haven't heard of, um, but this is their Spray Set Go Makeup Setting Spray. It's two ounces of product, and it looks like it's pretty good ingredients. There, I don't see any alcohol in here so I feel like this is gonna be more like a MAC fix plus where it's like uh, like fixing spray where it just like I don't know it it makes everything meld together rather than locks it in for longer wear but that's just my first impression I have no idea any of anything about this product but this apparently retails for $32 as well which is a little excessive for a two ounce size I feel like the Urban Decay is four ounces and it's like 30 something dollars so honestly I would probably just stick with Urban Decay but I'm excited to try this out we shall see I've heard that the spray is a little bit intense <laughs> not as fine as a lot of people might want but I, you can always decant it into another spray bottle the next thing I have here is super exciting because I love ColourPop. Um, this is their ColourPop and Hello Kitty collaboration. I received an Ultra Satin Lip in the shade Lock Diary. I've seen other people get Ultra Matte Lips. I've seen people get like Beeper. Um, but this is Lock Diary and this is so pretty. I don't go for super bright colors often. This is like a bright berry fuchsia kind of a color, which I'm really excited about. I like the Ultra Satins so much, so I'm going to go ahead and swatch this because I know I'm going to keep it. Ooh, wow. That is gorgeous. That's it there. Oh my gosh, so pretty. Um, I just love the formula of ColourPop Ultra Satins. And this is such a pretty color. It seems pretty universally flattering for most skin tones. Um, I'm super fair and I feel like this will look really pretty on me. I feel like it'll look really nice on deeper skin tones, even like medium or olive skin tones. So I feel like that was a really nice choice on BoxyCharm's part. Um, I was really excited about that. And then the last thing I'm sort of like meh about this is from a brand called Winky Lux which I don't really know anything about I don't have anything from them um, but this is their uni brow why would they call it that uni brow universal eyebrow pencil it's apparently $12 and on one side it does have a spoolie which is great um, I really appreciate that when you have a pencil product that's got a spoolie on it and then it's like a like that triangle shape I can't do this <laughs> but um, it's that triangle teardrop kind of a shape that uh, a lot of companies have been coming out with it's a really cute packaging it's white and gold it's got like these hieroglyphic kind of design but it's also got like poodles on it <laughs> I guess that's maybe something to do with their branding but um, I will try it. I saw Kathleen Lights test this out in her boxy Sherm video and she made it look really good. Um, she said it wasn't her favorite like texture but she made it look really good when she applied it onto her brows. So I'm not going to discount it yet. I just it's not the most exciting thing in the box. Definitely the most exciting things for me were the Bare Minerals um, setting powder duos and the five shadow palette. Like, they're beautiful. Are you kidding me? Definitely those two 
were worth the $21 and I consider everything else just a bonus honestly um, so yeah that's why I resubscribed to BoxyCharm let me know your thoughts I might be doing another dual unboxing next month we shall see I'm trying to hold out for spoilers to decide whether I want to keep the subscription or not but yeah that's it for me let me know what you got in your boxes this month I would love to know thank you for watching give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it subscribe if you'd like to see more from me and hopefully I will catch all of you in my next video. Bye guys.